Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my title is How to Unlock the Supernatural and my subtitle is Faith. God is a supernatural God. So to live a supernatural lifestyle, you need to understand his word, which is the doorway to faith. Let's start with some definitions. What is supernatural? It is an occurrence, power, or force beyond scientific explanation or understanding. It is something beyond the law of nature. The supernatural is real. It is more real than the natural realm. In the New Testament we read, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Whatever you see around you now came from the supernatural, and it is by faith that we have access into the supernatural. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into his grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. Faith is simply partnering with the invisible God in light of the scriptures so as to commit his integrity to perform what is written. It is the life wire of Christianity. As a child of God, if you fail in faith, you have failed in life. Faith failure can be likened to heart failure. Just like whenever someone has a heart attack, they either die or will be in danger of dying. Simon, Simon, Jesus said, Indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as a wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. Jesus prayed for Peter's faith not to fail because Jesus knows too well that Satan or the demonic realm could never have any access into Peter's life if his faith is in place. Therefore, whenever you are praying, pray that you grow in faith and that God may deepen your faith in him. Faith is not just believing in God's word. It is about locating God's word and standing on it to commit him to perform. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Therefore, if you don't study the Bible, it means you have no scriptures on the inside of you. And that is the absence of faith. It means you're trying to build a house with no foundation. For instance, when we read the Old Testament, we realize that Abraham stood on the integrity of God's word. Abraham refused to panic. He refused to fear or shake because he was fully persuaded that what God has promised he was able to perform. That was what committed God, irrespective of the contradicting circumstances that made God to give him Isaac. Everything we need in this life is already provided in the supernatural realm. For every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of all light, in whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. The word above here 
connotes the supernatural. It means God has already made everything and all things available in the supernatural. But it is only by faith that we would take delivery of them. If you want to unlock and assess the supernatural realm in order to change your circumstances or situation, then you need to check the way you believe God's word. Because what you believe directly or indirectly affects your life. In order to unlock and assess the supernatural realm, you need to increase in faith and turn your faith to what God has said concerning your situation and you will experience the supernatural manifestation of God upon your life and in the life of the people around you. To unlock and assess the supernatural realm, you need prevailing faith. You need to be fully persuaded that what God has promised in the Holy Scriptures, He is able to perform. And when you release your heart onto a particular Bible verse in the Holy Scriptures, you receive it and meditate on it in your heart, you will begin to experience open doors and breakthroughs in your life. Miracles will take place in your life and every hopeless situation in your life will be permanently turned around and changed for good. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time we've had together and we thank you for uh, teaching us how to unlock and assess into the supernatural realm. Almighty God, we pray that you increase our faith. We pray that you build up our faith. We pray that you help us to believe and stand on your word to commit you to perform that in our lives. And so we pray and commit our lives into your hands that you will be with us and look after us in all that we do today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on TikTok, and share this message. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>